Hello people, welcome to Resident Evil 5. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean chapter 12 in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. <laughs> and for these enemies you just spam your tears with a side. Because you never want to engage them in melee range. Because they're awful. Excuse me, I have a plane flying over here. Professional guide maker. Okay. Now for these enemies, you know how's the deal. Just shoot them from far away. You can use the cannon if you want to just instantly kill them, but he has too much recovery for my taste. Can also abuse the corner shooting from there, but I just want to do this fast. For the blue Muramasa shop, you can just upgrade whatever weapon you want. If you upgraded the Lunar in the previous chapter, you can just oh, choose any other weapon. I'm gonna upgrade, gonna upgrade the Lunar here because the Rotate Triangle move is very powerful at level 3 and it is excellent against giant bosses. And you're going to be fighting the Black Dragon in this chapter, which is kind of annoying if you don't know how to fight him. I just don't like him. Then again, I don't like any Sigma addition, sorry. <laughs> uh... Now for the next chapter, next chapter, next part, uh, there's gonna be a bunch of rocket guys. I like just running towards them and just casting Impo. There you go, dead. Now this is a very annoying part. To these days I, I don't know what shooting the light does, but I'm just gonna say it does fuck all. Seriously. Just spend Impo here. There's an Impo chest nearby, so feel free to use it. Just waiting for the guys to spawn. 10 Inferno. I think there's only two more. Look at that, the guy just spawned right to my side there. And he's still missing. <laughs> Can't explain that, sorry. That should be it. There should be like three chests in this location. Health that I don't need. You would think that shooting the lights would do something, but it does nothing. And I don't know why. Like, I thought that it would buy you some time, like, where they don't see you, but it literally does nothing from my experience. Just a waste of time. You go. Full Ninko. Beautiful. More money. And I don't think there's something over here. I do know that there's a life of the gods. Another herb that I don't need. Just showing you guys. Yeah, I think that's it for items over here. I'm certain. And here we go. Life of the gods. It should be all life of the gods up to this point. I haven't missed a single one and I don't plan to. This chapter is a little bit confusing at the start, so please be patient. 
Like it's been a while since I played this game and I'm just going straight into Master Ninja. <laughs> I'm just that good or that bad. I love Wonderwater controls, dude. I can't believe they made it worse in the Sigma version. Now shoot that guy immediately. Money. More bugs. They get the side treatment. I think you guys noticed by now that I don't just absorb essence by no just walking around it I just use it to charge another UT pretty often because I don't really need the money but if you guys do need the money just absorb it normally without burning it to expedite another UT charge there we go Now over there is just a Muramasa shop, there's nothing there. So feel free to use it if you need to. More enemies. Yeah. If you want you can just spend this till the end of time. Izuna drop I mean with the lunar stuff, but you do have the Tonfa. The reason why I'm using the Yuzuna drop span is that I just don't want to die and you know, have to replay this entire part over because of a stupid one shot grab that the Sigma version employs where it makes you play like an absolute bitch. Save. And now we can open the chest because this chest is random. So yeah, it was a calculated decision. Emma's Fang. A lot of bugs from close range. Another one? Nice. Anymore? No. Can't go back and save, but look at that. Another save point. Tone for action. Since the zombies are slow, they just let you charge a level 1 very often. And then you just use their essence to hit the other one with a, another level 1 UT. Like I'm sure by this point you guys noticed that you can use the block button to control essence absorption. So this is why I, I don't absorb it by just walking near it. It's a very essential part of Ninja Gaiden. If you want to destroy it with ultimate techniques. Now the worm is a strange enemy, since it doesn't have any limbs, it doesn't get instantly killed by the Tonfas. I think that's like the only normal enemy of this game that doesn't instantly die. And then you just use forward triangle triangle and do it again if it staggers. That's it. You can also use the Lunar. There we go. Just think that full UT didn't die. 
That's it. Should be a few zombies here. Whoops. A grab. That will probably instant kill me. Because this game is fair. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Now for this part I just like suiciding myself up to the cannon guy. Trust me, it looks easier. A totally safe strategy. I don't know what the fuck is happening. That that fish was swimming on the ground. That's a very special kind of fish. There we go guys. You can also use a piercing void from all the way back there where you start, but I just like you know going gun hole because it works. It looks dangerously, but it works. Now we just need to shoot all the fish. Because there's a few items to grab. Don't use the cannon, it's just too slow at this part. An item that I don't need, and a jewel of the demon seal. There should be another chest underwater. I don't know if it's an item or not. Well, health. Probably pointless. If this health can be converted into money, it's best to just save first and go back to the chest. No, because some chests give you, gives you money instead of health if you have no full life when you open. A bunch of zombies now. If this UT fully connects, they die. I would have just used the Tonfa, but there are bugs. You can block that cannonball shot. For cheap damage. Let's save again. And grab the Talisman of Rebirth, that gets converted into money, since I have my Talisman of Rebirth already. There you go guys, another free 25k. Pretty much rich by this point. Now for this part, uh, before the boss, you can just kill all the enemies and go back and save. But I'm not going to do that because it makes the video longer. Like you can just kill all these zombies over here if you're afraid that the worms at the boss arena are going to kill you. Just go back and save if you are afraid. Because you know how this game is, you play like a god and then you get grabbed and die instantly.
Holy your cheese spam back, man. We done? Thank you. There's no chest over here. And now for the fight before the boss. Where I have to fight those terrible worms that don't die with a new tea. Don't go for the zombies. E.T. Oh, of course. They can just pop out of the ground instantly. But you can block that. There you go. My one more. It's just three zombies. Four triangle, triangle. Before the boss switch to the dual katanas. Okay, for the black dragon, you use the dual sword uh, Wolf Group attack, which is forward the whole triangle and release. Use a shuriken to cancel the recovery. If he flies up, you can knife frame by rotating the left stick and pressing triangle. There you go. Dodge the tail attack, he does the follow up with the tail. Rotate triangle to knife frame through the jump. If it does the, f the fire breath rush, you just cast Ninpo or perfectly dodge it. That is his most dangerous attack. After you cut the tail, you can just stay behind him. Uh, I'm gonna show the Lunar here. If you're very close, you can just use a rotate triangle and then just evade him normally. This attack is very powerful. So you just stay near his leg and spin it. And that's it for the Black Dragon, guys. And I'll see you on the next chapter. Good luck.